we traveled to Morocco, we traveled to Poland, and we were shut out of UN conferences because of an edict from your government. Does that sound like world press freedom to you, Minister? What we're doing today is supporting an independent and free press in some of the most troubled regions of the world, and I have no doubt that you rejoice in this investment and this initiative. Well Well, it's World Press Freedom Day and Maryam Munsef, who is the International Development Minister and the Minister for Women and Gender Equality, she's dropping by Chorus Entertainment headquarters here in downtown Toronto. She's going to make an announcement, namely, the federal government is going to give $11.7 million towards a project that is going to enhance the human rights, particularly of women and girls, through media development in the Democratic Republic of Congo, the Middle East, and Kenya. Well, uh, that sounds quite jolly. We'll see what the details of that project are. And uh, as well, I have some questions of my own regarding press freedom on a domestic basis here in Canada when it comes to the media and the Trudeau government. We'll see what Minister Monsef has to say. A free and independent press matters because truth matters. World Press Freedom Day is a day to celebrate how vital press freedom is to human dignity, and a day to evaluate the state of press freedom around the world. And today I'd like to announce that the Government of Canada is investing $11.7 million over four years so that journalists for human rights can help the media hold and protect human rights in the Democratic Republic of Congo, in Kenya, in Jordan, and with Syrian diaspora in the Middle East. When people are informed or are outraged, when they are held to account or inspired, change happens. Your stories matter. Miigwech. Thank you. Merci. Say, Minister Monza, uh, David Menzies with Rebel Media. Just a quick question. Um, the United Nations, oh no, the United Nations uh, told our reporters they were banned from covering their conferences due to um, a directive from the Canadian government. Do you support that? I hope you support what we're doing here today, which is ensuring freedom of expression and an independent free press for your colleagues around the world. But, but that's precisely the point. Um, we traveled to Morocco, we traveled to Poland, and we were shut out of UN conferences because of an edict from your government. Does that sound like world press freedom to you, Minister? What we're doing today is supporting an independent and free press in some of the most troubled regions of the world. And I have no doubt that you rejoice in this investment and this initiative. Well, you know, but how, how do you square the fact that you won't even let Canadian journalists that might have a dissenting opinion about things like immigration and climate change to attend UN conferences. And here you are um, advocating for World Press Freedom Day. Thank you, thanks very much. Okay. This doesn't look like a lot of freedom, ladies. Well, she's in her private area now. Thank you very much. Okay, then. Sorry. Well, there you go, folks. What a surprise. Once again, we try to ask a federal liberal cabinet minister some direct questions. Once again, we get baffle gab and spin for an answer. You know, it's too bad. It just seems perversely ironic to me to hear Minister Monsef say how she supports World Press Freedom Day, and yet at the same time, her government bans rebel journalists from attending UN conferences. Oh, and by the way, if I was able to have five minutes of her time, there was a few other questions I wanted to ask the minister. Namely, um, how indeed does she support World Press Freedom Day when her government is also pressuring social media outlets to censor conservative critics of her government? And of course, just the other day, Facebook banned a number of conservative commentators from its platform. I wonder if the minister agrees with that censorship. And uh, I'm just curious too, if she thinks that the likes of Facebook, YouTube, and Google should also cut down on other uh, voices out there, including the Rebel and Ontario Proud and other conservative commentators, because this minister seems to be all about press freedom as long as the press is painting a particular picture. We were the ones asking the tough questions and we got the bums rush out of the building. The media party 
are being wined and dined inside because nobody's asking the type of questions we're asking. And you know, folks, it's, it's just so perversely amusing that in her remarks, the minister said that a free and independent press matters because truth matters. I would suggest that this minister can't handle the truth. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, the Rebel has a new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you travel.